Okay, I didn't expect to get that many direct messages about my shrinkflation video. Listen, I just want to say this. I'm going to expand on it a little bit. I live in the United States, okay? We all know if you're living here, you're getting ripped off pretty much every time you buy anything. You buy food, you're getting ripped off. You get ripped off at the bank. You get ripped off when somebody comes to fix your house. You get ripped off when you get your car fixed. You get ripped off every time you walk out the door, you're getting ripped off. But in America, we have accepted a certain amount of ripped off -itness. We're going, I know I'm going to get ripped off. I know you're all ripping me off. But if you don't rip me off too much, I'm not going to say anything. But now they're ripping us off too much. Am I right? Did you ever, did you go to your bank and then find out that your, uh, your monthly fee went from five bucks to 10 bucks? Did you notice that? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Did you notice when you pick up a bag of popcorn or small bags of popcorn that you get at the store and you're realizing that you're actually buying a bag of air with special guest appearance by the popcorn? You know what I'm talking about. You look at your soda and you're going, well, wasn't the soda in that bottle filled up a little bit more than that last time I got? You know what I'm talking about. That's all I'm saying. We know we're getting ripped off. All we ask you to do is to stick to an accepted and approved level of ripped offedness. And we're cool. Just go back to the way you used to rip us off. That's all I'm asking. I mean, am I wrong here? I don't think so. Apparently, neither do you. You dig?